there's a couple of things um, you need to know about ribbon work before you start the stitches, um, which is a little bit different to normal hand embroidery. So first of all, it's how we thread the ribbon. So it often comes just cut straight across. So the easiest way to thread it is to cut yourself an angle on the end of your ribbon, right across the end. That gives you a point on your ribbon. We're using chenille needles, so there's a long thin eye in that, and then you can just take the point nice and easily through the eye without damaging the ribbon or fraying the ribbon. Now, we also need to secure that ribbon to the needle. In normal embroidery, you would leave that as a long end um, and that would go back and forth through the fabric, but that will damage the ribbon and you want to use as much of the ribbon as possible as well. So I'm just going to put the end of the needle through the end of the ribbon, like so. Just catch the end in so it looks like that. And then if you just pull the other end, the long end up, you can see that just catch around the needle. Give it a tug, that's nice and secure. So that's a standard way of starting your ribbon off in ribbon embroidery. Now, the other thing we need to think about is the other end and how we start and finish our ribbon. So the most common way of doing this is just to put a knot in the end. Now you don't want a really bulky knot, you want a quite flat knot. So it's just a, a granny knot. So just over, just get it started and then I can show you. Just over and under. It's just a very simple knot, simplest there is. And just pull that in the end, close to the end of the ribbon as you can so you're not wasting your ribbon. And just pull that nice and tightly. So just a knot in the end. And now we're going to assume that this is the back of the fabric. You're looking at the back now. And you would take it from the back through to the front. And that knot will secure it in place. Now the ribbon is thick enough for the silk not to go through to the front, so you should be fine with that. I find it does tend to bulk the back up a little bit. By the time you've got a few ribbons going through, um, it can be a bit bulky, but that's a fairly standard way of starting your ribbon. So I'm just going to cut that off, show you another method. So that's number one. This is a method I quite like to use. Um, so I'm using two pieces of fabric in my ribbon. I usually give it a backing because it can end up being quite bulky. So again, I'm on the back now. I've turned my piece over and I would just catch a little bit of the backing fabric with my needle. Now just make sure you don't come through to the front because it will show on the front then. So just the back of the fabric, that backing fabric there. And just pull it through so it's nearly at the end. And then if you just take your needle through the end of the ribbon, just pull that up, catches the ribbon in, makes a really nice flat, um, secure end to your ribbon to hold it in place. So I quite like using that method. I use that method quite a bit. So that's number two. Get that out in a minute. So number three, is again on the back, we're looking at the back, is to sew the end of the ribbon in place. This is quite secure and again will give you a nice flat finish but it does mean another needle and another piece of thread and a bit of sewing. Um, so you'll just pick up a little bit of the fabric and then just catch the end of your ribbon with the needle and then you can just over sew just the end with a couple of stitches like so. I'm using an embroidery needle now so a finer needle just because I'm using an embroidery thread you don't need a ribbon cruel or chenille sorry for this. Just catch it in a couple of places like so you can finish that off just go through the loop to catch the end in Cut that off, get rid of the knot as well. So again, a really nice, flat, tidy, very secure end to your ribbon. 
Now, um, when you've done your stitching, you've done your ribbon stitches and you want to end your ribbon, there's a couple of ways of doing that. Um, I'll show you those as we go through some of the stitches as well. But just as an explanation, um, you can sew the end down again. So you can cut yourself off a length and finish off the end in exactly the same way. Um, or you can slide your ribbon back and forth a couple of times underneath the stitches on the back. Try not to go through the ribbon because sometimes that can pull the stitches on the front and pull your ribbon stitches out of shape. But back and forth underneath the stitches a few times will finish that off really nicely.